All right, so we are going up to season nine. So it's season ten because this is time we're supposed to be episode ten. So season nine, Sam is tricked into saying yes to an angel because Dean doesn't want his, brother, his baby boy or dead. Uh, and Abaddon appears. We meet Kate for the first time. So Gadriel, or as uh, Dean affectionately calls him, Zeke, comes into play. We meet Henry Winchester, their paternal grandfather. Who, now that I think about it, I really hope we get more about John's uh, relationship, like with his mom and stuff, when we get to, when we actually get to see the Winchesters, the prequel series. Um, because yes, I know a lot of people aren't like uh, happy about it, but at the same time, like there's a lot we can do with that. Because it's their lives, like before they meet. It's not just when they meet. I hope not, because it's supposed to be how they meet. How, like honestly. Personally, I think what would be really cool for them to do is bring in clips from the show. Like, if they have to change, like, uh, Mary and John's, like, faces. Like, they have to, like, do the dot thingy and, like, superimpose their faces. Well, they wouldn't even have to do that, necessarily. Well, they might. Like, if they have to do that, that'd be even better because it'd look cool. But uh, it would actually keep some of the stuff, like... Anyway, just personal thoughts. Uh, so, we get through... We have the Knights of Hell, so that's how we meet Abaddon. Uh, we meet Cain and Dean. <sighs> Dean accepts the Mark of Cain to kill Abaddon with the first blade because it's the only way they can do it. Gadriel kills Kevin, and I'm, like, we we all, we all hate that. We all hate Gadriel for that. <laughs> um, also, I'm trying to remember a lot of this off my memory right now. <laughs> uh, Metatron also kills Dean and Crowley. And now all I can think about is the Hillywood production. The first parody. Where, honestly, I loved the parody. Because uh, this Dean. Which we'll get into in the next season. But, so yeah, season 9 was full of ups and downs. Sam being partially possessed by an angel. Them learning about their father, le learning that their legacies of the men of letters, which were basically hunters, but with more equipment. Uh, which is what I liked about them. So you had Sam, Dean, Cass, Kevin, Crowley, Kane, Gadriel, and Metatron. And I could have written Abaddon as one of the main characters, but eh. But yeah, so that's kind of... Season 9 was kind of a basic season. With all with everything that it did. But yeah, no, Dean dying kind of sucked. But he came right back to life, basically. Sort of. So, we're on to season 10 because... Oh, I know why it's doing that. Because I stepped on it. <laughs> I don't have a very clean room. Alright, so season 10. We have Demon Dean. Honestly, I love him. Um, Oh, we meet Rowena McLeod for the first time. And we learn Crowley's real name is Fergus. Which, honestly, I love that. Um... We get, we get the Book of the Damned, Frank, oh, the, Fra mm -hmm, the Frankensteins, and Charlie's death. Charlie was only around for um, three seasons, which saddens me. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> my own notes make me laugh. Um, so we, it starts off with the, uh, Sam trying to find Dean uh, and to bring him back and... Uh, Make him stop being a demon. Which he does successfully, however, because Dean is stuck with the Mark of Cain, at any moment he will become a demon. Uh, so we have, so it starts off with Dean and Crowley's buddy cop movie kind of vibes. Um, also the fact that canonically, CANONICALLY, Dean and, Ka uh, Dean and Crowley have been in an orgy together tells me so much. And I want to know so much more. Uh, again, Rowena. Honestly, one of my favorite characters of all time. Like, honestly, what? she, uh, I love her. <laughs> like, I have an OC who is her daughter, who ends up with Sam, which I honestly find hilarious because of her ending. Uh, her, oh, I forgot what her name was, Faye. Her name was Faye. Faye. Faye McLeod, uh, I think. I think I have one other one where 
her name was Crimson or something. I don't remember. Of course, you have Charlie, who played a key point, and we also learn more about the Book of the Dam. We learn more about witches and witchcraft and all that. Just ugh. And Cass trying to fix heaven the entire time. He's like trying his best. Like he's trying. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying to save his people, basically. But he really can't. Because he will follow Josiah to Colorado. I think that's what the season. I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, God, I've talked about seasons 8, 9, and 10, I think, so far. No, I've talked about 9 and 10. Uh, but I will. So, our main characters in this season are Sam, Dean, Cass, Crowley, Rowena, and Charlie, as well as Kane. Because I believe in Rocket League, Dean kills Kane in that season. Ah, uh, yes. And at the end of season 10, Rowena is able to release Dean from the Mark of Cain and allow him to you know, be free and not worry, have to be, you know, worry about you know, demofying again. However, well, it, however they want to do that, truly, well, and they did something stupid, they killed Death. Um, honestly, he will always be my favorite version of Death. Um, but yeah, no, I actually, uh, go to season 11. Yeah, uh, we got to season 11 now because the last few seasons kind of like, we're okay, but could have been better. Season 11, the darkness, God, Lucifer, and Billy. We meet Amara, God's sister. Well, God is light, Amara is darkness. And Lucy comes back because, well, Cass is something stupid. And we meet Billy for the first time. Really. Billy the Reaper. So. <laughs> My own notes make me laugh. So. The Darkness of Mara is God's sister. She, she. Her and Dean have a connection. It's weird. But also really interesting. Then. Uh, Tumblr was white. Right. Uh, we, we all predicted Chuck. Uh, it's God <laughs> because we are a weird fandom and we have weird predictions. Honestly, my favorite version of Lucifer, <laughs> like I love Mark Pellegrino's Lucifer, but Castiel, Lucifer, Cassifer, Nisha Collins had such a different like take on it. And it's like, remember, he hesitates, disintegrates, and I'm just like, Ugh. like I will always love Mark Pellegrino's version. But we all we all gotta like understand like Misha did a damn good job at it, and of course Billy the Reaper. Uh, so this video is gonna be actually one probably one of my shorter ones. Uh, so you have Sam, Dean, Cass, Chuck, Amara, Rowena, Lucifer, and Crowley. This season was not one of the better ones, but I did like it because we learned more about Chuck and a little bit more about Dean and kind of who he was. This is also the season where kind of my OC harmony comes into play, but I'll get more to her again in, Probably into another video series uh, type series I might do uh, So my questions for season 9 10 11 are Why do you think these three seasons are just like so rapid pace that it's hard to Talk about them like get good notes on them if, even if you're doing quick research basically Because it's hard to get like good info on a lot of these like because again I just ended up doing the Wikipedia pages and a lot of this from my own memory. Um, they will say I did kind of give up after like season 14. Like I don't really watch, didn't watch a lot of season 14 or 15. But I did know a bit about it. So, why do you think those three, uh, 9, 10, and 11 were just kind of hard for me to, or what might have been some of your fit, like least favorite parts of those three seasons? Just out of my own personal curiosity. She just does. Oh yeah, and you know, Dean tries to, oh. Before I keep going, uh, Dean tries to sacrifice himself by becoming a human bomb. Yeah. Okay, so, it's kind of the big points. If I, again, like I said, I will probably go back through later on and redo some of these videos. I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. And again, oh, I've been, I've been just wanting to get these done. So, run hard. Oh, laugh hard. Run fast. Stay nerdy, my friends.